All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number 43, and today we are actually live streaming while we do this recording. Uh, I thought I would twist it up, uh, twist it up a little bit after the 42, 42nd episode. Um, we played as Squishy Buffins in the last one. If you didn't see it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a bit of a weird teammate at the beginning, but it was actually pretty smooth uh, overall. And we ended up in Grand Champion 2 Division 3 here. And today our name is R Snail, and we actually have to make this thumbnail live. So we're going to jump right into that first and then get back into the, the recording. Now we want a good, we want a good snail photo. Oh my god, look at it load! This is some HD snail. Look at this. That's almost too detailed. It's kind of scary, actually. Look at the detail, man. Oh my god, everyone's saying hi, YouTube. Look at the list. Let's find a good. Let's find a good. Uh, let's find a good Arsenal photo. Okay. <laughs> All right. I can see. I I'm working the magic. My brain is working. I can see it. <laughs> this is so scuffed live. I usually just no brain this because it doesn't actually matter that much. Dude, I have way too much fun with these. That's so disturbing. But it's okay. We're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. You wanted to see what how how I do this? This is this is the process, okay? Oh my god, this is so cursed. <laughs> this is so cursed. Honestly, I think that that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough. It's cursed. It's cursed enough. In my photos, I never I never look to try too hard. But uh that should do it. So as you can see, this thing is an abomination, but you know, it was a lot of fun making live. I think that's going to be a really fun thing to do in the future if we do this on my streams more often. Twitch.tv slash Lithamere underscore RL. If you want to follow over there if you're not familiar with my live streams, I try to keep the vibes a little bit different, but today we're recording, so we're going to kind of do both of them at the same time. But like I said, we're in Grand Champion 2 Division 3. We're going to jump into the next game and see how they go. All right. So we got the first game. We got Freeman and Lucky Man on the other team. We got Sin on my team, who's the highest ranked in the lobby. Actually, no, he's not. Second highest, but pretty high level game. Good 50-50. Should be a play for Sin in the, the middle. Should be his ball now. It's popping up. Oh, nice play. Around one. Gonna bump though. Gotta be careful. Gotta wait to see if Sin can get back and help. Good touch. It's a good play off the backboard. Don't really wanna go quite yet because this guy could probably get back. He might miss and that should be open for me. So right there, I wanna wait because the defense is way further ahead. And because he cleared the ball over, I know my teammate is committing, as you can see, in the uh, far corner. If I jump up for that, my teammate's gonna be committed pretty pretty long time there. So I want to make sure that I wait until he's able to recover a little more and the guy missed anyway so I get a free goal. So if I would have went up I probably wouldn't have scored and it would have been just a, a, a wasted touch. Pop this up the backboard high first and since he's not going I could probably shoot this. See how he reacts. Nice. The ba that back boost is stolen. So I want to go back for the middle boost right away and a great shot. So so far so good. We got 30 seconds into the game. We already got two goals. Haven't really done too much just you know played patiently and made a few shots. Freeman should probably clear this. It's not really my time to go yet because he could pop it up, which he does. Now he throws it away with that touch, letting the opponent go, and now we can catch it. So the way I catch that is to drift into it. Um, obviously, that takes a little more mechanics, but we're at the point where now, like, mechanics are a little more... Um, oh, that could be a goal. Yeah, that's a good play. Um, the mechanics are a little bit more relevant, and people are probably getting their mechanics up a little more. I probably could have... Uh... Oh, no, Freeman. <laughs> uh, we say no, right, chat? No, definitely not. Guys... We've been we've been got in the first few seconds right here the guy's really overcommitted so i want to stay with this i see that he's going to beat me because the ball's already moving pretty fast so i'm just going to bail and try to get this boost early the reason why i get that boost is because of the fact that um we uh backed off as soon as possible this ball's going to bounce up pretty high so i want to make sure i stay underneath it if my teammate beats here it could be a good play it's gonna be too high though for the net so lucky man might clear it i'm already ready for that as you can see freeman's got it next so i'm sitting on the left side waiting for the next touches he still has possession Kind of let go of the ball, though, and Sin can come in and challenge. It's a decent play, but it kind of gives the ball slightly to Freeman, so I can't really catch it. I don't have a free touch. I can go again here and probably shoot it towards target, see if Freeman goes for it. Nice. Free ball for Sin. Great shot, and not a good enough defense there. Lucky Man rotated behind his teammate, and I believe that he probably could have... Let's see here. Freeman kind of landed poorly and couldn't land in time, and Lucky went way too far to the back post. Sometimes it is okay to be close post when the shot's looming. You gotta be ready for that to come in pretty quickly there when you make a bad touch on the backboard. <laughs> Fake. My own goal. Nice play. Sin should steal that corner boost, which he does. And it's okay if they push it forward because... Oh, no, never mind. That was a really good shot. I did not expect him to shoot that immediately. I thought he was going to pass it over the, the, uh, his teammate. But uh, I, I thought after this first touch, he kind of flubbed it. But I ended up following up nicely. I probably could have stayed in midfield and, and uh, covered that shot. 
There we go. Good 50-50. It's still the corner as well and grab some boost pads. It's really important that I take those boost pads in front too because that's 24 boosts the opponents could get. Not the greatest play by my teammate. Could have been a goal there too. And I think it actually is. Yeah. So I didn't expect my teammate to make that touch. I could have turned on it. But then he kind of popped it up for the opponent right here. That was a perfect play for him to just pass it off and sauce it up to him. So for 3-3, three three, he played too smart, he says. Okay. Well, you know, it's a good pass for my teammate. But we'll have to see uh, if we can get another goal here. Play it. Play it even smarter. Nice. Lucky man might touch this. Freeman's not going to go since he's last. I know that. So I'm just going to play off the fact that he's going to fake. There we go. Oh, good 50-50. Pop it over the one. Hopefully my teammate can get in there. Good try. Decent play. It's going to bounce off the corner in a spot that Lucky will probably follow it. So I'm going to fake it for the first touch. Right, here's another tight shot that I can probably make. And there we go. So in that situation, that's similar to like two episodes or three episodes ago, where I pop it off that corner, be able to follow for a shot uh, with that curve in my shot. Like once I boost to the right side of the ball, I can shoot it with a left side flip. End up shooting it in the bottom left corner. Giving Sin a lot of space to work with. Not the greatest touch though. A little bit dangerous of a turn too, but I'll try to give it to, sp to space. As long as Sin gets that boost, it should be all right too. I missed some boost pads. Definitely should have grabbed those. Right now I'm going to grab one while I'm here. I like that the opponent actually committed instead of forcing me into a position where I have to follow it. And with this three seconds left in the game, should be a decent chance at a finish. And there we go. We got one second left. They're probably going to forfeit here because there's two goals. And in one second, you can't score two goals. So pretty good game here. We'll move on. We got Ya SMD and Huge Slump. I guess it's Veta. And we got the guy from last game on our team. So let's see. He was the one who was sus of us in the first game. Whoa. It's a big clear. The opponent uh, committing there is not too dangerous for us. Kind of popped it up pretty poorly, but if he beats him here, that'd be good. Make sure to go steal this boost from the opponent so he's low boost. All right, there we go. I'll make sure to click, uh, not click it, pop it off the wall in a certain way that I can follow it up for a shot. The way that I curve my car, there's like a weird like area where your, your car is sort of like a razor blade when it touches the ball. You see in the front corner, I kind of popped it like pinching the ball. I kind of think of like how to pop the ball. I want to like hit that little sharp edge of my car. Ends up popping the ball really nicely off the curve of the corner and I get a free shot. Nice play off the side. This ball will spill at mid so I can immediately go for this. Good 50-50. I know that when the ball spills out like that, I can go for it because it's dangerous for the opponent to jump under the ball. Good 50-50. Should be Freeman's ball again. And it could have almost been a goal. The way I'll do this, I'll, I'll tap it to the side first. Stay with it. It'll bring us some mechanics. And there we go. Nice little play. Um, you know, sometimes you got to show off the little mechanics right there. What I did there was a soft touch off to the side, off the corner. And that way I can follow up the wall. And because that other guy committed, Veda's left alone and he has to commit to me. And even if he makes it clear, my teammate's going to be ready for the next touch. Nice first touch. Kind of goes to Yuz's possession, but the opponent actually threw it to me. That's the guy who's on a slump. Probably he's playing a little too fast, faster than it needs to be. Yeah, you can see he's just playing way too fast. <laughs> you know, when you're slumping, the last thing you want to do or when you're tilted is play faster. You end up actually making a lot more mistakes. Right here, I'm just going to wait for the opponent to jump off the wall so he makes it clear. Just going to pop this off the wall. I don't see the opponent nearby. So lots of time for Freeman. Decent shot. Ends up missing. Whoa! Okay, that's fine. You can stay with it, teammate. Good shot and great finish. Nice one. Yep, it's you. <laughs> I didn't see that. He knows. What's this guy? This guy's like a detective. Your name is too good. Hey, I don't make up the names, man. Most of the time anyway. But that was some that was someone's recommendation. I appreciate the recommendations. Like I said, if you want to drop a comment with the next name for the series, I definitely check them out. I've got a bit of a backlog, but you know, I've been checking out newer ones and adding them to the list as well. But it's been a lot of fun making these thumbnails. As you can see, it's a bit of a process, but definitely worth it. The end result is kind of funny. So great for a second game there. It wasn't too difficult. We ended up playing pretty well. Veta with the huge slump didn't do too much in the game. I think when you're slumping, you really need to be careful. Um, with over aggressing that's a huge thing that happens you think that oh i'm losing so it means i need to make more offense but sometimes playing a little more defense gives you more offense offensive opportunities and so we definitely learned a lesson there by just you know trying to commit too much he's also the lowest level player in the, the lobby and it obviously a little bit showed there but hopefully he uh gets out of his slump soon so we got a bit of a lower level lobby here we actually got yeah smd again uh i'm the highest level mmr in here um in the last episode i mean the last game we actually got uh division four so we're getting super close to gc3 this should give me possession in the back corner. Gotta be a little bit careful with an early aggression. Because he's going early, I'll pop it over. 
Yeah, this seems a little slow, but he's, you know, he's got the reaction. There we go. The opponents are partied up too. It's a good try. Could be a finish. He could have been ready for that. I think he could have seen the ball spill there and he could have been, you know, ready to make the touch. This could be a, a goal. There we go. Good pop across. Force out the touch. I don't have to go back for that corner boost. I want to stay, you know, relevant. Oh, okay. That's fine. That works out. Go for the pinch. Let's go. He's not. This could be dangerous, but he kind of threw it away. Pop it up nice and high. And if I boost fast enough, I should be able to follow this up for a shot. Off backboard. The other guy committed. Teammate should have been mid, but still might work out. Once again, not doing too much with the ball, but I'll catch this early and I gotta be a little bit careful with the next touch because I am last. So I made sure not to fully commit to that. Good play. Good fake from the opponent too. All right. I like it. There we go. Good 50-50 for the opponents. It actually worked out pretty well. They end up missing the pinch. My teammate's going to have full boost now so we can push over to the uh, the corner as soon as possible. Good play. If we go fast for this, could be good for us. Go for a shot on target. Good save. This will spill up mid for my teammate who ends up faking, but it gives them a chance to get a 50-50 instead. I got a little bit careful with the bumps. Go for the shot. There we go. Kind of expected him to go immediately if I just fake that. We got Eldarius grabbing the boost in mid. See if my teammate wants to clear to the side. It's better that he makes the touch. Good, good follow-up touch. It's going to be the opponents, though. Good touch. Go for a shot here. All my teammates still in the corner. I got to be a little bit careful. The way I do that is to make, make it sure that they feed it to the left side after my teammate is overcommitted. Big clear, but I can clear this right back while the opponent is pushing up. And if I go immediately for the shot again, this is where we're going to go for a shot on target this time. The last time we went on, on backboard to see how they would uh, react. And uh, this time we go for the backboard, uh, the fake on the backboard, and then just go for a direct shot. Darius kind of uh, overcommitted and didn't actually fully commit. At that point, he kind of has to, or else I can just take a shot like I did and get a free goal. Hop it up nice and high, see what they do. It's a difficult read. It's a good pinch. I don't know what just happened. So because the guy committed once again, we'll bring it in super, super fast. Hop it towards target and see if they make a save. They ended up missing. So I didn't shoot like that too strong, but it was enough that it was confusing for them. The reason why that worked out so well is because I caught that the second that he threw his bo body behind the ball. And the other player has to make it clear and ends up not making it very good. So works out for us. We got two goals, only a minute 47 left to go. Hit off the back corner. I end up missing. Not the greatest play, but yeah, could be overcommitted here. Good play off the backboard. Bump this guy if I can on the way back. Make sure I find any option I can on the way back to make the offense a little bit more difficult. Is my teammate touching that? He is. Okay. All right. Go off. Get that off the curve. Should be my teammate to follow up. Good play. Should be able to grab that mid boost and follow up the, the touch here to throw off the opponent. Pretty low boost. So I made it sort of flip forward first. Hop over one. Just going to threaten him, but not actually go for the ball. Should be an open shot for my teammate. In that situation, I'm pretty low boost. So even if I do go for the shot and try for it, number one, it could be a 50 50. Number two, I'd be in the net with zero boost. And it's very hard to get out of the net in a poor recovery when you're mid-flip like that. So I decided to just fake it, add some pressure, some presence, and it just ends up making him panic and miss the ball anyway. So it's definitely a good way to cause some you know, defensive mistakes out of doing basically nothing. Not too worried about a shot. He ends up faking it. Can away for him to touch the ball. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Are we in GC? He's in 50-50. Could be a shot here, actually. Oh, could be good. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. A little awkward. I didn't know if I could go for that because the opponent should have been more ready for, for that touch. But he ended up uh, waiting a little bit longer than I expected. And there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Good third game. Probably jump into one more because of that quick forfeit in game number two. And we're moving up nice and quick. We're at 1737 already, which is actually pretty high. I'm pretty sure 1815 is, is SSL. So actually, I just realized that we could be like nine games away. This series is actually coming to a close. I don't understand. It's been a reality of my channel for about four or five months. And we're actually getting there. I right, got Koozie on the other team. He's a... Uh, I've actually met this guy in my games. So that's where we're at right now. Like in my regular uh, account. We got Freeman on my team again. He's a solid player in the, in the third game and second game on the other team. Are you going to stay with this? The mechanics? I ended up making a bad touch off the ceiling. I went too close to the ceiling. Kuzi could go for this immediately. You gotta be a little bit careful. Good play from Freeman to wait for that. Make sure to make it clear. Go for immediately for the mid boost as well. Okay, I'm gonna stay, stay in front. And there we go. So the way I do that is I try to go for the fake air dribble and then Kuzi is stuck on the backboard. He has to make a play by jumping off the wall. 
and that helps like transcribe what I'm gonna be reading. So I just go for a little bit of a fake and ends up missing because he even if he 50 that into me, there's a good chance it could go towards target. And uh, we get the first goal. Good. Immediately recover and go for that back corner. Yeah, it's not really going on target right now, so it's not too much of a threat. Just kind of waiting for the touch. Go for the late 50-50. Teammate could go back. Good pressure uh, pressure to just wait, though. Pop it around one. Teammate's still pretty far behind me, so he's going to wait for this clear. This guy could mess it up. If Freeman gets a touch here, it could be good for us. There we go. Just put it off, off backboard. Grab the corner boost and immediately leave. Wasn't the best for me to waste all my momentum like that. But we'll just uh, we'll just keep the pressure here. Don't want to waste too much boost. Make sure to stay relevant. It's going to be a clear from the opponents. I see that already. My teammate's going for the back corner. And he could probably jump up for this and get a clear. Good try. Definitely the right idea. Trying to avoid the demos. Pop it to the side. We got one goal. We're kind of chilling. That doesn't really do much for the opponents. Right here, I'm going to go immediately early. Go for the clear. See what Kuzi does. The immediate jump is actually bad for them because it goes to my teammate. It's a decent touch. Gotta wait for the bumps. Get a bump on him. Try to get a touch there by readjusting. Probably would have been too much though at this at this level. Ended up working out anyway because yeah, I was overcommitted. Make a 50-50 here. Stay with it. And there we go. Now we can stay, take this boost while Kuzi's trying to get out of the clear there. Freeman knows it's me too, so he's got a kind of an advantage. Like he can trust me, I guess. So it's actually working out pretty well for us. Got a little careful with that one. Could have been bad if I don't go for that challenge. It ends up almost being a 50-50 uh, into the net, but my teammate's able to push up and get that finish. The reason why I have to jump there is because Kuzi will go on target there if I don't jump out, and I have to commit to that. Even if he fakes me, there's nothing I can really do. I have to, you know, cover the one option that I can't cover. And I try to do it as much as possible to the fact that I can still, you know, get the fake as well. Like, still get contact with the ball. Let's see if Kuzi waits for the defense here. Great double. That's a really good touch to follow it off that curve. It's hard to read there because it's so low. It ends up making a really good play off the back, the lower backboard, and Kuzi wasn't ready for it. Really nice double touch. That's like a high level shot. Freeman's kind of popping off, not gonna lie. And that's a quick forfeit, so there you go. Pretty solid game. That's gonna be the last one for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little bit different of experience having to chat on the screen, but uh, we're at 1747, so I don't know if that's gonna be. Nope, not the promotion. So probably uh, probably next episode we'll get it in the first game or so. But yeah, that was, that was a good episode. I, I, I like the difference in, you know, doing it on, on live on, on, on stream. It was a little bit different. I didn't really respond to you guys in chat. I apologize, but it was still fun non <laughs> nonetheless to see you guys, you know, freak out in chat. But uh, until next time, guys, have a good one. We'll catch you guys in the next one.